so we are still working on getting the coop ready for the chicks. As you can see, they're getting bigger. And as you can see over here, I was true to my word when I was talking about how I don't really care how this thing looks and I just want to use junk to put it together and it's a temporary situation, but it's strong, it's secure, and I think it's going to work okay for the time being until we make the permanent one. Uh, you look down on the floor, we've got some black plastic here. This is just some tarp that came with the lumber that uh, got delivered for building the house. I keep all this kind of stuff because, you know, you never know when it's going to be useful, and it almost always is. So uh, I've got some of the, uh, the tarp down on the floor there. Chicken wire on the sides. I've got this old uh, sheet of Luon. I had a bunch of scrap pieces of Luon from, from uh, putting together the walls in the pantry. Uh, and I'm using that to kind of cover up the seam between the, the plastic uh, tarp and the uh, chicken wire. Uh, what I've got to let, left to do in here is three things. One, I want to make uh, kind of a ceiling so the chickens can't just fly up and out. I'm going to be making that with, I think, another tarp that I've got down there. I'm going to uh, just kind of staple it to the bottom of this and have it kind of hang on the sides. I've got these guys here to uh, fill in these holes. I, the last thing I would want to see is a chicken fly up and then get into this void back here. I mean, That'd be really, I'd have to cut it out of there. So we're going to keep the chickens out of there. So i got to do the ceiling. I've got to do uh, the door to the coop uh, so that we can get in and out and they can't. And I need to do the door for getting them outside. And that's what I've been working on today right here. This uh, hole in the wall has been there for, I don't know, a couple of years since we put this thing together. I just finished it up with the, uh, the kind of, I don't know, trim boards or whatever you want to call that or around the edges. Uh, uh, I am going to be taking the, the black plastic and covering this up because I don't want uh, chicken crap to get all over this thing. Because once we remove this, this these are going to be kind of the, uh, the boards that will trim around the window uh, that we'll eventually have here, or whatever we're going to put here. I don't want to have a bunch of chicken crap down there. Uh, this is the last thing to put on, and I've got this piece of plywood here, again, uh, true to my word. This is what it looks like. It's all, you know, spray painted and ugly on one side. That side's going to face in. Uh, and on the outside, uh, there's footprints all across it. It's a junky piece of plywood, but it's going to cover that up. And it's going to hold uh, this right here. This is a chicken house door, or so it's labeled. Uh, this is solar activated. Uh, so when the sun comes up and it's daylight, there's a little uh, gear in the back. And the gear turns and the gate goes up, allegedly. Uh, you know, we're going to see how well this works. And then when it gets dark, the, the gate goes back down. A little bit flimsy, uh, but, you know, if it works, it works. I was able to buy this for about $30 uh, on a website that, you know, sells stuff related to chicken coops and things. Uh, initially, I looked on Amazon for this, and they're selling these for $199. So it pays to shop around for these. $30 bucks instead of uh, almost $200. So uh, what I've got uh, going on here is I'm uh, positioning the door in this location right here. That's going to translate to be over here because on this side of their coop, I'm going to put all their roosting bars. As you can see over in the corner, I'll just put my arm through it. Here's the hole uh, in, the, in the floor that goes to that chute. So when I'm pushing all their shavings out, they can go down that chute. We'll see how well that works. But I want to have the door away from the roosting bars because uh, they're going to kind of come down at an angle. Uh, and uh, you know, otherwise I didn't want it just too uh, I didn't want it too high up off the uh, off the deck there. I've got a jigsaw that I'm going to use to make the hole, and I've got four holes uh, that I drilled in the corners. So uh, th that's the way you work with a jigsaw: is you you, you know, drill out the corner holes and then you can drop the jigsaw right in and cut from hole to hole, just like connect the dots. Probably going to run out of uh, camera roll on these uh, five-minute 360 videos, but uh, but that's what's going on today. I want to get this this wall on, get the door on, get this thing back and secure so animals can't just walk in. One thing I am going to be doing is this door is automatic solar activated, ideally. Uh, what I, I do want to do is have another door on the inside. Let's say. Uh, it's, sun it's daylight, but I don't want the chickens out for some reason. I don't know why that might be. You know, for whatever reason it might be, I don't want the chickens outside. I'm going to have another thing that I can slide in on the back side. So even if this door on the outside automatically opens, I can prevent the chickens from getting out if I choose to. Uh, you know, I just think it's important to have that option. Um, other than that, uh, I think this project's going all right. I mean, it's ugly, it's rudimentary, it's brutalist, but... Uh